Uh, well, let's just take them right in order. Okay. Sure. So best books. And actually, you know what I'll do, Joe, is I'll, um, why not? If you want to support the show, um, I'll, put, I'll put some affiliate links to some of these books that we're going to mention down below. And if you want to buy them through those affiliate links? Thank you. If not, that's fine too. We don't care. Um, but, you know, I would say that without a doubt, <clears throat> the Market Wizards books by Jack Schwager, those are a must read and they're tons of fun uh, to read. I would say though that I tend to get, I get more out of them after I learned about the markets. So, because it's interviews with the best investors of all time, the best hedge fund managers, the best trade, and they're getting, they're in the nitty gritty of talking about strategy. Um, and so it does help. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily start with the market wizards if you have no exposure, you've never traded before or anything else, but market, the market wizards collection or series of books is definitely on the must read. Um, How I Made $2 million in the Stock Market by Darvis is a underread, underappreciated book. Um, And what's neat about it is the strategy that Darvis outlines is buying in uptrends and adding when it breaks out into what he called a new box. He created these Darvis boxes. And when it would break out into a new box, he would add to it. So again, concentrating your holdings and winners. So you're not averaging down as it's falling. You're averaging up as it's rising. And, <clears throat> you know, this was, you know, $2 million doesn't sound a lot like a lot today. What it is still is, right? But I mean, this book was written in the 1950s, I think. So, I mean, we're talking back then, it was, you know, a lot of money. So I would, I would definitely um, read that one. I think Confessions of a Street Addict um, by Jim Cramer is a great read to give you background understanding of the market, the hedge fund industry. Um, it's kind of like, a, it's, a, it's written in kind of story form. So it's a really interesting uh, and good book to read. That's the Jim Cramer, CNBC. Yes, of CNBC. Yep. He's got a few different books, but the, the Confessions was the first one. And that's an, I think that's his best to tell you the truth. Um, or the one that I enjoyed the most. Peter Lynch. Um, wrote two books. Um, Beat the Street, I think, is one of them. Uh, that was that was my favorite. And of course, Peter Lynch talking about investing in what you know. So I mean, he was a big believer in if everybody is going to Ulta Beauty, um, and you love your experience at Ulta Beauty, then you should own Ulta Beauty stock. That type that type of investment. Um, so I think that that would be a really a good one. William O'Neill, probably my favorite book um, as far as I've gotten a ton out of it, is William O'Neill's book. Um, and I'm, I apologize, listeners, if I'm mixing up the titles. But if you Google, if you Google it, you'll be able to find it. William O'Neill's book. Um, I've just read so many of these books. Sometimes the titles of them and the authors blend. Um, but William O'Neill kind of walks you through both the buy strategy and the sell strategy, controlling risk. And I think it's a really really informative read. Same thing with Stan Weinstein's book. Um, Really interesting to kind of, uh, if you're interested at all in technicals and charts and incorporating those into your your, uh, strategy. Um, I think Weinstein's book is, is definitely, he talks about four stages of investing. The stage one basing, stage two acceleration, stage three topping, stage four decline. And that's a really interesting way of, of looking at the book and I, I, at the market. And I, I found that really helpful too, as well. So, I mean, I could go on, Joe, and on and on because I've read so many books and there's so, there's so many good books, but that's a good, that's a good grouping, I think, for someone who gets started. You might, you might call that a smattering of books that you just gave. <laughs> Smattering of reading material for the weekend, right? Um, and then the other question, Joe, was on cash. 